So the thing that I love the most about osteopathic medicine um, is, well, I'll tell you a story. So when, uh, in between my first and second year, I had the opportunity to go to Haiti. Um, this was after the major earthquake that had happened there. Um, and it was just an absolute uh, tragedy. And so many people died. So many people are still there impoverished with, with so little help. We went, uh, it was roughly six months after, and we had only learned a year's worth of osteopathic medicine. Um, and we went to essentially go into the communities and um, you know, start some very, very rudimentary clinics um, and just treat what we could with the week that we had there. While we were there, um, and we were seeing patients, and we had a fully licensed physician with us uh, overseeing what we were doing, um, we were able to use some of our osteopathic skills. And the way this was born out of is the fact that our clinic had hundreds of people waiting outside to be seen. And there weren't always, there wasn't always something for each and every one of us to, you know, there wasn't always something for us to do at certain times. And so we kind of sat around and said, well, why don't we start using some of these techniques that we've just recently learned this last year, see if this helps some of these people who are coming to us just for headaches, for migraines, for back pain, for musculoskeletal issues. So we started using some of the techniques that we had learned. And there was a language barrier, but we, you know, we used our palpatory feedback in our hands, um, you know, without words to essentially diagnose and figure out what was going on with some of these people. And a lot of times it was tight muscles and it was, you know, a lot of musculoskeletal issues. And we began to have a line longer than the actual line to get in the clinic to get medications. We found that the crowds were just, they were all flowing our way and we were treating you know with soft tissue techniques we were treating with some of our counter strain stuff that we had learned um, even some of our hvla techniques we were using with, with these patients and it was then that it occurred to me that one of the most wonderful things about osteopathic medicine is i will always have my hands with me i i don't need the stethoscope around my neck i don't necessarily always need you know, the, the capability to have a pharmacy there and the drugs available. I can diagnose, not for all, not for all pathologies, all disease processes, but for a lot of them, I can diagnose and I can treat just using my hands. And I found this to be true all the way through medical school. I was able to treat family members. I treated my wife when she was pregnant. Um, she had some major uh, back, low back pain, um, some very, very um, some, some tight uh, pelvic joints that I was able to loosen up and free her and make it so it was easier for her in her third trimester. I treated my children who had feeding issues um, and plagiocephaly flattening of the back of their head from the way they were uh, lying in utero. I was able to treat some of, those, some of those things just as a second or third year medical student um, without any other interventions. And it was all because I just, I have my hands with me. Um, I know that in the rest of my career, you know, I will always have that ability. And I think that's what's so special about this. You know, it doesn't take a, you know, a myriad of tests. It doesn't take, you know, a whole bunch of different drugs or medications and things like that. We can do so much with what we already have with us. Um, and I think that that's inherent and special to osteopathic medicine. I think it's one of the reasons that our founder, A.T. Still, was so passionate about this and that it found such a a good calling, a great calling with certain people um, is that, you know, it, it's very special in that sense. And so, um, you know, when I look back on my whole entire career thus far, my education, um, I, I, look, I look fondly upon the fact that here they are, my hands, my, my diagnostic tool and my treatment as well. And I think that's really, really special and very, very unique to us as osteopathic physicians.